and today we're looking at episode 6 in Surviving Minecraft. And as you can see from the title, this is an episode of change. Yes, I could not help myself. I had to go back to the texture pack that I used in the last Let's Play, that being the Sfax BD Craft. I don't know why, but I just cannot get over this texture pack. It's just too cool. Also, I you, know, you can see <laughs> that I am no longer inside the cave over there. I've moved everything out into the open here. Fully exposed, completely vulnerable, looking for danger around every corner. Well, the main reason I did this was because I don't really want to build underground. Normally I build underground. And, you know, that's all fine and dandy, but I don't know. I wanted to do something different this time. And so since I'm going to build my main house or base you know, above ground, I figured I might as well move everything else out from the cave as well. The only thing that is inside the cave are the reeds and the wheat, which I really don't have much use for at this point anymore. They're just kind of there for safekeeping. I kept this room, except for the chests. I kept this room intact just because I might use it for something in the future. I'm not sure what yet, but uh, we'll see. We'll revisit this at a later date, I'm sure. And over here is where I'm going to put the nether portal, but I'm going to hold off on that until the uh, upgrade to Minecraft 1.5 because of the new nether, um, what do you call it, nether quartz, um, the ore block that's going to be in the nether. It's only going to spawn in uh, new chunks, newly created chunks. And so since I have not yet gone to the nether, I think it makes good sense to not go until the, uh, the update. So, you can see that I've got some sense of order to all of my storage here. It makes me feel better about everything. Let's see, precious gold and metals here. This is all stuff from down in the mine that I've been collecting. So you can see that I have been very busy, very busy with digging. But fortunately, enchanted tools make a huge difference. Currently, I've gone through one unbreaking three, efficiency three, efficiency three pick, and then almost three quarters of the way through another efficiency four pick, and it's just crazy fast digging with an efficiency four pick. So let me see where I can store this stuff real quick. Uh, nope, wheat goes over here. I uh, just went on a killing spree with the cows here. They were getting to be a very annoying, so I had to thin the herd a little bit. And let's see, let's get some of that. Okay. Oh, string. I don't have any use for string. Let's put that somewhere. This is my random chest. Okay. Now, I do still like the, the faithful texture pack. The faithful 32. So I might go back to that for one or two episodes. Just depends on which mood I'm in. Which mood I'm in. But uh, for the most part, I think I'm going to stick with this Sfax Purity Pure BD Craft texture pack. It's just too cool. Too cool in my opinion. 
Okay, so let's go down stairs and I will show you guys what's been going on. What what the that needs to be fixed. Looks like a Enderman has been doing something here. There. That's better. Okay, downstairs. Man, I have been uh, really digging. So I dug all four of directional yeah. shafts out, connected them on the edges and the corners, and then I've started digging out here. And, oh, there's a sneak peek of what we're going to do today. And that is Slime Farm. You can see it's already working quite nicely. Let's dig this out. Kill these guys real quick. Good grief. Get out of here, guys. Come on. Oh my gosh, this is so productive. Wow. It's amazing. This is uh, two chunks worth of slime chunks. And it's apparently very lucrative. Uh, okay, let me kill these guys real quick. So we can actually focus on something. Come on, quit this. So the plan here is to uh, fully automate this whole thing using... Um, water streams and a uh, good trick that I saw DocM use. Um, well, I don't think he originated the idea. I think he got it from somebody else too. So credit to whoever credit is due. But what we're going to do is use the basic water streams. Oh my gosh, there's more. So we're going to use water streams going, you know, around, all the way around. And we're going to push them basically down right here we're going to drop them down into a hole and uh, let's see drop them into a hole and then we can watch them go down here maybe some glass underneath and they shall be transported I'm thinking back to all the way back to here at which point we can kill them and take their slime balls. So, yeah, that's the plan. And let me get some supplies together real quick, and then I'll kind of walk you through the basics of how to get started on uh, on doing this. See you in a minute. Stop the presses. This just in, we have ourselves our first potato, which means we can now start growing potatoes and using that as our food source. This is a random drop by zombies, and uh, we were fortunate enough to pick one up. So we'll have to plant this guy. Got to figure out where, though. I'm thinking maybe out here. I'll just set up a quick farm. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, we've got our supplies together. The main things that we're going to need are signs, stairs, and some glass. And a lava bucket for our killing mechanism. Or not our killing mechanism, our... Uh, Size regulator, I guess we could call it. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to kill all these guys again. I'm telling you, this is working out really good so far. Okay. Now, let me see. Well, first of all, let's have a way to get up. Start knocking out some torches. Uh, 
Okay. Placing torches. Now the trick to doing these things the right way. Oh boy. Is the corners with the water. You can see this slime farm is going to be very productive. I've gone through. Oh my gosh. I'm so about to die. I've gone through and uh, lit up a bunch of the caves around here. So that's why that's why I'm getting such good production out of this already. And this is literally only two chunks worth. Actually got really lucky that this was so close to uh, the mine shaft. Like it's literally in one of the quadrants of the mine shaft. Okay. Oh my gosh. Go away. Go away. Almost. Okay. Oh, okay, now I can breathe. Now, for demonstration purposes, if you put water bucket in the corner, notice how the water behaves. It pushes very evenly. Like that. No problemo. And then... Now that'll work perfect. You can see there's lava right there. Now, let me see if I can remember how to do this. Where it stops, we have to dig a three by three little trench. So one, two, three, like that. Then we can place our stairs. Like, oh, not like that. Not upside down. This new stack, this new placing mechanism still confuses me sometimes. Like that. And then put our signs. One. Not, gosh, not like that. Failure. One, two, and three. We can see how it works. Flushes everybody here, like so. Now, to extend the setup, basically put one water bucket and two water buckets. Don't have to worry about the middle because there's a source block that's formed. Go all the way until it stops for eight blocks. And then dig the 3x3 three three trench again. Then repeat with the upside down stairs. Nope, not the upside down. Repeat with the regular stairs and the signs. Okay, so I'm going to continue this pattern all the way around to the other side. And I'll meet you guys over there once I'm ready. Okay guys, I wanted to give a quick progress report. So far I've got all the water in place. You can see the very beginning of it starts here. It goes all the way around. Lots of obsidian because of lava. Which I think I'm going to knock out and replace with smooth, smooth stone. I like, uh, or not smooth stone, regular stone. Um, I wanted to keep this place very uniform, clean. Brings it around the corner. And around this corner. And meets up right here. I'm going to have every slime drop down into this little pit. Which will then be carried off to the killing part, which will be underneath here. So let me set that up real quick. And I'll check back in when I get that ready, ready to go. Okay, so we've got the killing mechanism in place. You can see that the water stream, I actually dug it back a couple blocks so that it would end right there. And this setup uh, 
basically uses one block of lava to cut the slimes down to size. Now, one key component that I don't quite have yet, but won't have until I go to the nether, is these blocks right here need to be soul sand for it to work completely the right way. But I think I think that I should be able to get by with with uh, just regular stone until, or for now at least. And then from there, once they get killed, they get knocked down to the bottom there where they get sent off and we'll end up back at my main uh, mining hub. So I'm going to have everything come up right here in the end. So you heard, you must have heard a, a slime bouncing around earlier. So let's go ahead and release him and see if we can test this out. here with him. <laughs> okay, burning, burning. Good. Excellent. Let's see, we looks like we've got a couple, maybe a couple of the uh, slime balls that burned up in the process, but I think the soul sand is what will take care of that. So, that's awesome. I'm going to go ahead and call that a success. And then uh, next thing to do, of course, is hook up the rest of the water streams to get it flowing back uh, all the way to the mining hub. So I'm going to do that real quick, and I'll meet you guys back over there. Okay, guys. Final progress report. I was able to hook up the water streams just to basically a single continuous water stream using the same principle as we used in the slime farm machine itself with the stairs and the signs. You can see that slimes are going into the machine, little ones are not being killed and they're going on their merry way. And here's a bigger one, this one should get cut down to a smaller size. There we go. Perfect. And you can hear them going off back to the main part of the mining facility. So let's go back and check it out and see what we get in the end. Right now I have just a water stream that goes all the way from the slime farm down to right here with ladders to bring the slimes up. So once they get here we can use this lever to pull back this glass block and release them and let me kill them and get their slimes. So far this has turned out really nice. I've done some, some initial testing on it and it's uh, it's been working pretty great so far. I think eventually I'm going to, once I finally start, or once I finally make my my house upstairs, I'm going to actually reroute this uh, upstairs to my house instead of instead of right down here. That way I can get the slimes from uh, all the way at my house and I don't have to worry about coming down here to get them. So let's see if we can get these slimes to come down here. I don't hear them anymore. I wonder if Maybe they died. We'll have to go down and find out what's going on. Okay, let's go down and see if we can find out what's going on real quick.
Okay, guys, I think I've got the slime transportation system up and running. Let's go see how it's working. And you can see I installed a water break, which does not work. Oh, that's embarrassing. Okay, guys, got the slime transportation system all set up, ready to go. They're coming from down at the slime farm. You can hear them in the system now. Underground water transport lines all the way to right here. So let's open this up and start reaping the reward. Oh man, they're everywhere. <laughs> this is great. There we go. This is perfect. I have to make this a little bit more secure. Let's see. Let's put some actual stone there. There we go. Perfect, but as you can see, slime system is working. Cool. So now we'll have a steady stream of slimes and a moderate stream of XP. Although, once I get this fully set up with the, uh, with the house upstairs that I want to do eventually, um, I'll probably reroute this to go straight upstairs and uh, maybe hook up some kind of automatic killing. That way it's just for slime gathering and not uh, XP at all. Because I've got bigger plans for XP such as an Enderman farm, maybe uh, a Silverfish farm, maybe just a regular mob grinder, cave spiders. I have a few cave spiders spawners that I've found in my mining at the up to this point so far. So there's lots of potential to get uh, XP. So I'm not too worried about that with this uh, slime farm. So let me check the, uh, the time of the episode real quick. And we'll probably call it at the end of this episode. And just like that, we're back. So this episode's shaping up to be a reasonable length, about 22 or 3 minutes or so. And I don't want to drag it on too long, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it off right here. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, every time you guys watch and comment and just keeps motivating me to keep doing these things. It's a lot of fun. Um, ooh, there we go. We'll finish off with some potato planting. Perfect. Three potato. One, two, three potato. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, guys. And we will see you guys next time.